Beethoven Airport, about to get on our flight to Dublin in about half an hour, and we're very excited, even though Sammy's a bit sick. She's still excited. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so soon, soon, in like a few hours, we'll be in Dublin. <laughs> It's really fun here. We like it already. Finally got food. It's about three o'clock and we're having lunch and we've got Mexican. Yum! It was super quick. We really needed it. And I got a falafel burrito and Sam got chicken. Chicken. Chicken burrito. So we've checked into our hostel. We're just having some lunch. Then we're going to go hit the tourist centres. Find out what we're going to do for the rest of the afternoon. Probably just going to wander around the city see what we can find. It's so Christmassy in here. And they just played my favourite Christmas song at the moment and I love it. Feeling very well still. Yeah, so this one's for you, Anne. Great cake and coffee. Dublin to Belfast, which is so much cheaper than we thought. Mm -hmm. And then on our way, walking up to the train, a um, nice gentleman next to us said, oh, handy, he can walk up to the first cabin, it's always pretty empty. Turns out he was the train driver, and this cabin's basically empty, so we've got a table, we're going to try and do some work. Yeah, work. <laughs> Can't be all fun on a study trip. Belfast and we're now at our hostel we're just getting some lunch in the really cute cafe here 
and luckily they take euros so we now also got some pounds sterlings back in change which is good because uh, we haven't really thought ahead as much about what we're going to do with UK money now that we're in the UK the train trip was so beautiful I can't even deal with how beautiful the scenery was there were mountains which was nice to see after being in the Netherlands look at the view from our hostel you can see the mountains and the city and there's Sam I like beds The tour. Our tour guide was fabulous. Um, hi Roy! Hi Roy, if you ever happen to see this. Um, he was really informative and it was actually really interesting because one of the first things he talked about was this old building across the road from the church, uh, from the jail, which was a courthouse that's fallen into disrepair and he told us a little bit about regeneration projects in the area, which is exactly what we're here for, for our study part of our trip. And the jail itself, although quite morbid and a little bit like doing the tour of Port Arthur, it's still really, really interesting to learn about that sort of stuff. And we even got to go into the um, condemned man's cell and the hanging room and it was a really great, interesting tour. There were only four of us on there, um, which as our tour guide said, you'd think it would finish early if we weren't a good group, but we actually took 10 minutes longer than we were meant to. So I would highly recommend that one. Now we're off to go warm up a bit, grab some dinner, some groceries, and then head back to the hostel. It was cold. Sam likes to say, it was cold Crumlin Road Jail. We are at Starbucks. I got a gingerbread latte and Sam got pumpkin spice. I've tried both and the pumpkin spice is definitely better. So Megan, you better learn the secrets to that one so I can make it at home. Thank you. 